Let me talk to you about uh, how to ignite a flame within your life. This is for yourself and for your students if you move and progress into whatever industry you want. Here's how it works. Find a passion and a purpose. What fires you up in the morning? What is your passion? Is it helping people? That's what fires me up. You know, you know what, what really fires me up too? Is when I wake up in the morning next to my little newborn daughter and my wife, I, I look, I, I say to myself, I'm going to work because I don't want to struggle. I don't want to have the life that I had growing up. I don't like having more month at the end of money. Come on. Come on. So here, here's how it works, okay? Think to yourself as you're going through school, as you're a professional educator, think to yourself. We've been taught, we've been conditioned that I need to go and do something so I can have something so I can be something, right? Let me give you an example. I need to go do school so I can have a diploma, so I can be a doctor, nurse, teacher, lawyer, whatever. What you should be doing, or what I encourage you to do, is this. Who am I? My name is Daniel Santiago. I am comfortable and confident in that. I know I have a bunch of junk and funk over here. I've made a bunch of wrong decisions, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't define who I am. I'm not defined by what I have, what I wear, where I live, what I drive, how much education I have or don't have, but I'm bringing me to the party, right? I can bring me to the party and I bring me everywhere I go. So if I want to be a business administrator or I want to go do something else like play basketball, when you walk in the court, you know what, y what we call it now? We call it swagger, <laughs> right? You know people, you can, you can hold a room it's, it's confidence in who you are. It's, it's having the ability to, to not be swayed by somebody else's opinion or perspective of you. If somebody tries to limit you, you don't have to let them. You can say, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Mrs. I can't do that. I'm going this way. That's what I'm going to play. That's what I'm going to do. You stay focused, have a direction, have a purpose and a passion. You do whatever it takes to go after it. So you got to use discernment and say, let me make wise decisions so that, that I can get to where I want to be. So learn what it takes. Begin with the end in mind and come back to where you're at and figure out everything out in between. You don't have to know how. You don't have to get all your ducks in a row. In fact, we can get over right now this being perfect before I take action on my dreams. If you're about 60, 70, 80% of where you want to go, man, just move. Start to move. Because as you go, it's kind of like if I was going to go from, from Orange County, California, let's say San Diego, to uh, to Rhode Island. If all I had was the opportunity to drive at night, complete darkness, in my car, I had 40 feet of headlights, right? Plus my high beams. And if I traveled all the way at night, only at night, not knowing what else is out there, I could make it to my goal in due time, right? Just with that 40 feet. So you go as far as you can, and that headlight will continue to lead you in the direction of your dreams. Aspire to achieve great things. Man, do something significant with your life. You only get one chance. It's not practice. Develop a mindset of significance and success, and then get the employability skills for the real world. Whether you're playing basketball or wanting to open your own business, whether you're wanting to be a school teacher or an administrator, whether you want to be a culinary individual or you want to be a veterinarian. Learn what it's going to take. It doesn't matter if you get the degree certification that you can hang on the wall. I can hang all types of stuff on the wall. The value comes in from what you bring to the party. Who you are is significant. And the value you bring, whether you have what it takes or not, is what's going to matter. That's the value of what you're trying to do. Employability skills, Get your degree, value your education, but even more than your education, value yourself and continue to bring you everywhere you go, right? And so it's about bringing value.